Hey everybody, Steve Stein here again. Um, just going to teach you how to play Wagon Wheel by Darius Rucker. This was a request I had. A really easy song and really fun to play. It's an old song by a band called Old Crow Medicine Show that was redone by Darius Rucker. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting the capo on the second fret, okay? And we're going to be using G, D, E minor, and C. Now there's really only a couple parts to this, so let me play you the bulk of the song and then let's talk about it. So we're going to be doing something like this. Now let me break down the chord idea for you and then let's talk about the strumming a little bit. So the first thing is, is the, at the very beginning of the song, before the band comes in, you play G, and again, it doesn't matter if you play easy G or three finger or four finger, whatever's comfortable for you. But you're going to play G, D, E minor, C. Okay? So G, D, E minor, C in whatever fashion you play them. Easy G, easy C, C add nine. It doesn't matter. Again, always remember the goal is just to have some fun with these songs. So we have G, D, E minor, and C. Now, once you're done with those four chords, those four measures, then the, the drums kick in and we're actually in the rest of the song and we do the same thing for the rest of the tune. So what we're going to be doing then is we're going to play, it's eight measures long, it's going to go G, D, E minor, C again, but then the second time around it's just G, D, C, C, okay? So the first four measures, G, D, E minor, C, the second four measures, G, D, C, C. So you're just skipping that E minor. So let me play that eight measure sequence for you and it looks like this. So really easy, really straightforward. Now let's again break down the strumming aspects of this to help from a very beginning level to a more advanced level. So the very beginning what you would do is if you're, if you're just getting comfortable with your chords and everything, um, as usual just strum very little. Try and make the, the changes with your chords. So you might just strum once per chord and then take off right away and get ready on the next chord. So you might do something like this. G, two, three, four. D, two, three, four. C. And the reason you're only strumming once is you're using the other three beats of that measure to get to the next chord. Okay. Once you get comfortable with that and you can make the chord changes, then maybe you strum a little bit more. Maybe you strum half notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Once you can do that, maybe you do quarter notes. You're going to strum all four of them. building as you go. Remember, if you can't make the chords, you can't play the song. So the bottom line is you got to be able to make these chords in whatever fashion you need to at this point. And then you start building up the strumming. The truth is the strumming is really the sales point of every song. It's the, it's the part that makes the song sound real, um, or for lack of a better term, professional, I guess. Um, and so what I want to do is show you some things that you could do with the strumming for this song. Now the first thing to understand is that the, the accent You're kind of accenting on two and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So if you scratch and you just start off trying to do something kind of country like, we're going to do like a one, two, three, four. So we're emphasizing two and four. Okay, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now the thing to remember when you're doing this kind of strumming is you're not obligated to strum all the strings all the time. The misconception a lot of players have is when you're playing a G chord you're supposed to strum all six strings all the time. You don't have to. You don't have to strum them at all if you don't want to. You can strum just a few strings. The truth of the matter is with all chords, and please remember this for the rest of your life, when you're playing G or D or E minor or C, the most important strings are actually these thin ones because they're the ones that really make the melody when you're playing. what happens is people just strum up here you get all this really ugly thick stuff up there and you don't want that okay well, you can separate them but let's just start by thinking about this strum so we're gonna go down 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 up down up 
It's just create a pattern. So by scratching, I'm going down, 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 up, down, up. I'm accenting on two and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, I want to give it a bit of a country or southern rock feel by, by changing up the rhythm into a bit of what I'm going to refer to as a heartbeat rhythm, which is bum, 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 bum. So instead of going, I'm going to go like a horse trot. So I've got bum. So I've really got three things happening. I've got my accents on two and four. I've got my strumming pattern at this point. Um, I can change up the strumming pattern however I want. And then I've got that, that, that shuffle, that So remember, whenever you're learning songs, one thing you always want to work on is scratching to the song to develop the rhythm before you start trying to implement it into your chord changes, unless you're ready for that. Um, because a lot of players, once they start making their chord changes, they can't really do a lot over here. So remember, accent more on these bottom strings, or emphasize, I should say, more on these thin strings than the thick strings. Now what I like to do is I'll start off by playing the thick strings and then I'll head to the thin strings. part of the song is trying to develop that rhythm and then be able to make those changes. Always be in control of what you're strumming. Don't just strum everything. Don't do that, okay? Back off, okay? It's okay. Even if you don't strum these top strings at all, don't feel guilty about it. Just stay down here and kind of strum small. Kind of exploring those two elements but that's wagon wheel summarized pretty straightforward and a lot of fun so let me know if you have any other requests um, and keep practicing